Today I will show you how to live loop with the Minilab MK2 in Ableton Live 12. Welcome in. In this video I'll show you four steps that once complete will allow you to live loop with your Minilab MK2 in Ableton Live 12. Step 1. Go to Live Settings, Link Tempo and MIDI. For Control Surface, Input and Output, make sure to select Minilab MK2 or Arturia Minilab MK2. For Input and Output Ports, Make sure the remote function is turned on. It's okay if the track and sync options are checked as well. Step 2. Go to record warp and launch. Under the launch mode, make sure the default launch mode is set to toggle. I'm going to create three MIDI tracks. I'll put my MK2 in Ableton mode by pressing Shift 8. And then if you press Shift, you can check it. I'm going to go to the first MIDI track, the simpler folder, and add some grand piano. Alright, great. Now I'm going to go to track 2. I'm going to find some electric bass and add that. Sounding good. I'm going to go to my next track and add a 505 core kit to it. Next, I'm going to go to MIDI effects, and under pitch, I'm going to add a minus 12 ADV, which will let us use our keyboard for drums. If you guys are getting value out of this video, hit that like button for me, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'm going to start by playing a simple drum pattern. Now I'm going to hit pad 3 to record. Notice it turns red. I'm going to hit the pad again for playback, and this time it turns green. And one more time to stop it. Now let's switch to bass. I'm going to hit pad 2. It's blinking on top, but it didn't do anything. Let me try clicking with the mouse. Still nothing, although it looks like it wants to stop a clip. When I play, I'm still hearing drums. The reason that is is because our track is not armed. Let me arm my track and try again. Alright, now it worked. Let's record. Playback. So the question is, how do we arm our tracks right from the mini lab so we can loop from the mini lab? And the way we're going to do it is with some custom MIDI mapping. So if we go to the MIDI tab on the top right, what I want you guys to do on the first track is go down to the arm button and then we're going to actually use pads 9 through 16 so hit pad button followed by 9 and it will assign that pad to arm the first track and then just repeat for the next two tracks use pads 10 and 11 once we've done that if we go back to our main screen, now you can see that by pressing pads 9 through 11, you can cycle through and arm each track. Step 4 is updating your firmware if necessary. If you've been following along so far and you can't arm your tracks with your mini lab, you may have old firmware. Open up MIDI Control Center and on the top left you can check your version and upgrade if needed. For a full video on how to do this, click the link in the description or click the info card above. Let's put it all together with a looping demonstration. I'm going to start by arming my drum track by hitting pad 11 and recording a drum part.
as the drums play back, I'm going to arm my bass track by hitting pad 10. And then I'm going to go down an octave for a good bass tone. and drums playing back, I'm going to arm my piano track by hitting pad 9. And now I'll add some piano. And that's it. That's how we live loop with Arteria MK2 and Ableton Live 12. If you guys got value out of this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. For those of you who want to know how to upgrade your firmware on an MK2 or how to connect an MK2 to a new computer like a MacBook Pro, check out these videos next. Thanks for watching.